Good morning class. Welcome back to the online class by St. Joseph Academy, Mariam Nagar, Ghaziabad. This is your moral science class by me, your moral science teacher, Ms. Anshika Michael. In our last videos, we studied our chapter 5 and we did its exercise. Now, today we are going to do its revision. So, let's start. Being obedient. Anu found out from the school diary the birthday of her dear Sumi Madam. Dear children, Anu, she is a girl who found out a school diary from her cupboard in which she got to know about her Sumi ma'am's birthday. It was her great desire to greet her ma'am before everyone and she started the preparations. So when Anu got to know about her Sumi ma'am's birthday, she has a desire that she wants to greet her ma'am first before everyone for which she started the preparation to make a greeting card for her ma'am. It was Sumi ma'am's birthday. Anu searched in her bag. Yes, it is there. Today is Sumi ma'am's birthday. So, for this occasion, Anu made a handmade greeting card for her. And she put it in her bag so that she could not forget it at home before leaving to the school. So once she checked her bag if the card is in the bag or not and yes it was there in her bag. Anu was waiting for the school bus. Why is the bus delaying so much? She said impatiently. Anu is waiting for her bus on the bus stop. But Today, the bus is delaying so much as she wants to wish her ma'am first. So, she wants to reach school fast and early. But, 
her bus is not reached to the bus stop yet o signal my god how long should we wait here will i be able to wish my ma'am first anu doubted so after some time when bus reached to the bus stop anu is sitting in her bus but moving to a very less distance she saw red signal and the bus stopped there now anu is thinking how long she has to wait here now and she also doubted that if she will be able to wish her ma'am first at the same time anu was watching the long queue of vehicles that observe the traffic rules so strictly when anu was thinking about the signal at the same time she saw a long queue of vehicles that was observing the traffic rules very strictly so anu's bus and all the vehicles were standing in a queue on the road because the signal was red and she saw that all the vehicles are following the traffic rules very strictly when all of us obey the rules there will be peace and order in the society when she saw that all the vehicles are following traffic rules strictly she thinks we all obey the rules only then there is peace and order in the society if we will not obey the rules there will be not peace or order in the society obedience is an important value those who obey will always enjoy peace and joy in their life principal prakash sir's words echoed in her ears so when she was looking at the vehicles obeying traffic rules she memorized and remembers her principal prakash sir's words that obedience is an important value those who obey will always enjoy peace and joy in their life even though anu is in hurry to reach school early today but she remembers her principal sir words that obedience is an important value we should obey the rules
when we obey the rules at home school playground and other public places there will be order and peace everywhere obedience is an important value principal prakash sir told anu about obedience but where should we obey the rules we should obey the rules at home school playground and other public places there will be order and peace everywhere so these are some places where we should obey the rules only then there will be order and peace everywhere otherwise if we will not obey the rules at home at school playground or other public places it may be possible that there will be panic everywhere anu decided to exhibit on a board the places where we have to obey the rules dear children now when anu knows that we should obey the rules at some places so she decided to tell these things to everyone by exhibition exhibition means she wants to tell everyone by writing the rules and the places where they should be obeyed anu was in deep thought whom should we obey now when anu knows that we should obey and also that where we should obey but now she is in deep thought about whom should we obey we should obey our parents teachers friends elders and sometime we should obey our youngsters so whom should we obey we should obey our parents teachers friends elders and sometimes our youngsters as well all throughout her bus journey anu was thinking only about obedience in this chapter anu got to know about obedience that obedience is an important value we should obey the rules at different places whom should we obey and what are the places we should obey the rules so my dear children what we learn in this chapter we learn that obedience is an important value after revising our chapter let's revise the exercise
firstly we will do our activity 2 write the places where we should follow the rules so where we should follow the rules we should follow the rules at home at office at school at playground at public places and at road you will write the answers by yourself activity 3 this is also given on page 23 complete the table with suitable words from the bracket you have given some words in the bracket and on the left side you have given some rules and on the right side you have given the places where these rules are followed. Picking out from the bracket fill in the places where these rules are followed. So first rule is do not pluck flowers. Where is this rule written? This rule is written in the garden. Do not put your head and hands outside. This rule is written inside the bus. Do not waste water. This rule is written in the washroom. Keep the left. This rule is written on the roadside. Silence. This rule is written in the library. You have to learn the answers and you have to write by yourself. Now, the next is answer the following questions. First question is, when will there be peace and order? So, what is the answer of this question? When we will obey the rules at home, at school, at playground and other public places, there will be peace and order everywhere. Question 2. Whom should we obey? We know that we should obey and the places where we should obey. But to whom we should obey? So my dear children, we should obey our parents, teachers, friends, elders as well as our youngsters. So these were the answer of these questions. Firstly, you will learn the answers and then you will write by yourselves. Now, coming to the homework. My dear children, 
Firstly, you will learn the work and then write it in your notebook. So this was our revision of chapter 5. I hope all the queries and all the doubts are cleared now. If still there is any confusion about any question or the chapter, you can ask me in the class time. Thank you.